Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6 and this is... Mega Brain 6200. And where are we today, Mega? We're at Sushido. Sushido. Sushi time, let's get some. Make us some tea, Mega. I'm thirsty. Got free tea here. About that much, that looks about right. And there's a hot water dispenser. And there's the wasabi, wasabi right there. We got plenty of wasabi. Even wearing the t-shirt, wasabi. What's up? All right, cheers, Mega. Cheers. It's been a while since we've done sushi, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, piping hot. Just the way you want it, right? Yeah. Yeah. They have water too that you can have self-service if you want. Whatever, beer. We're just gonna do the tea. I think that's the way with sushi. Yeah, I prefer the tea. Yeah. Okay, so order us up some stuff, Mega. I'm starving. Okay. Screen right there. Yeah. Chew total, that's fatty tuna, we love that. Salmon's your favorite, right? Yeah. This is a hydrated salmon. Okay, yeah, let's do that, why not? How about katsu? Sure. Katsu, that's good, bonito. He's in charge because he's got the inner seat, right? So I, like, I can't do anything out here, I'm just, you know. Yeah, if you come to sushi and you want to be in charge, sit on the inside by the belt and by the tablet. Okay, and then it tells you when it's coming, it speaks to you, and then you just grab it. All right. Oh yeah, let's get this party started. Oh uh, yeah. All right, Mega, where, where would you like to start? Good job of ordering all this stuff. The Ebby Fry. The Ebby Fry, fried shrimp. That's gonna be piping hot. Yeah, there's okay. more coming. More coming, all right, grab it. Oh, we are not done yet. <laughs> yeah, it plays a little jingle and then it tells you it's coming. Oh, that's a colorful one, I like that. Okay, so we're gonna start with the fried shrimp because this is a hot one. It's a cooked one, right? Yeah. It's nice. Okay. Would you like some sauce on this? Yes. Okay. Just a little bit, huh? Yeah. This is like a rich shoyu. Well, actually, looks more like a tangy kind of sauce, doesn't it? This is a shoyu. Yeah. Okay. There's more. What is that? The nagi. Ooh. Nagi. Freshwater eel. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Let's dig in, shall we? This is exciting. How long has it been since we've done a sushi video together? It's been a while. Yeah, over a year, yeah. I think. Okay. I'm just going to do one, so let's just share, shall we? Okay. Hmm. That's really good. I agree, it's really good, but is it sushi though? Not really. Not really. <laughs> I came here to eat sushi. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's tasty. I mean, hot fried shrimp over rice. It's bizarre is what it is, but tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do something a little more traditional, shall we? Okay. Let's start with the salad, my favorite. Looks like we got two types here. Corn salad and is that tuna? Maybe. Or mixed seafood. Which one do you want? You can take, you can choose. The corn. Okay, that's the one I was gonna choose. <laughs> Cause this is a mystery right here. We're not really sure. Yeah. Well, actually we do have, we do have the corn, another corn right here. We can do the same one. So corn sushi. Has nothing to do with fish. Ready? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That it's is not great. sushi. It's not sushi. I know. I was just complaining that the fried shrimp is not sushi. Neither is corn. We're zero for two so far. But that's what sushi has become these days. And we want to show you guys that, that right? And there's everything. Yeah, basically you can get whatever you like, even if you don't like raw fish. All right, let's do this one. This one's calling me out. This is more did, we, did we order too much? Oh my God, this is crazy. Okay, we'll just keep putting them together. Let's do this one because this has got this has been seared on top. Is that like a mayonnaise or a cheese on top? That's you know, cheese. cheese. Okay. So this is cooked shrimp, right? Yeah. So this is or seared salmon. seared shrimp. Okay, so yeah, one is salmon, one is shrimp. I'll, which one do you want? Salmon. Since you ordered it. Okay, and I'm doing the shrimp with cheese on it. Bizarre, huh? Yeah. Mmm, mmm, meaty. Finally a piece of seafood. I feel good now. I feel really good. Now it feels like sushi. But it was cooked. Yeah. Served warm. Isn't that bizarre? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's keep going here. We've got, you just did some salmon, didn't you? Yeah. Let's do the maguro, shall we? It's this a chutoro. Chutoro, okay, this is a fancy one. Fancy chutoro. Medium fatty tuna. It's one of my favorites. Are you a wasabi guy? Yeah. Okay. So these little bleed packs. You want to go about a half a pack, I would say. You could go a full pack with this two pieces of sushi. And the show you. Show you. Okay. <laughs> Just throw it on top. That ah, looks good. Look at the beautiful color on this thing. Can we get a close up? Look at that. Nice. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh. Sometimes you just have to shut up and savor it, right? Yeah. Oh, that is fabulous. It melts in the mouth. No. It does. Yeah. You really got to chew it slow. If you chew it fast, the experience is just over like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just right. That was about the right amount of time. Okay, moving on for the taco. Okay. What is taco in English? Squid? No, close. Octopus. Octopus, yeah. Octopus. <laughs> I get them mixed up too. All right, and show you on this for sure. Yeah. Come. Come. And this is nice. It's kind of, they've organized it into a little salad here with the cucumber. Nice bite sized pieces. Looks good. And this is cooked. Mm. A bit on the chewy side, but hey, that's the way octopus is. You gotta enjoy that texture. It's nice with the cucumber. It is, yeah, it adds a little crunch. And uh, not too tough. I like how they uh, cut it into small pieces. Yeah. yeah, it's nice, nice touch. All right, you're up next, let's go. Let's go, you're uh, good choice. Unagi is the freshwater eel. And this goes with some tangy sauce on top. A healthy amount. And this one is served hot. This is a cooked one. So, got yeah, good choice to get that. You should eat all the hot ones while they're coming out here. Ready? Mm. This is banging. <laughs> it's the meat of the sea. That is so yeah. good. How do you describe it? What is that flavor? You gotta try it. It's kind of unique in its own way. And a nice texture as well too. And that tangy sauce, right? It really does it good. Okay. How's our pace so far? Let's try this one, the Sakura Ebi. Okay. Sakura Ebi, little miniature shrimps, right? 
Yeah. This is served with, what is that on top? This comes with shoga or ginger. Yeah. Ginger. Mm. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Little tiny shrimps. Yeah. Good. 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 This is one of your favorites. When you were a kid, you used to eat these this is called ikoda, right? Or salmon yeah. roe. And you eat them like one ball at a time, <laughs> right? Yeah. You pick them off and individually pop them in your mouth. Right? It's called playing with your food. <laughs> it's fun, huh? But you can have the experience of each little pop in your mouth in a salty discharge. <laughs> explosion, a salty explosion in your mouth, not discharge. Oh, goodness. That sounds grotesque. Okay, no show you on this because it's plenty salty. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right, how about the regular salmon? Okay. Ready for that? Now, do you put wasabi on salmon or not? I find that if you just put a little, it's okay. But if you put too much, you're going to be well, in trouble. This is uh, high-grade salmon. High-grade salmon. So it's, it's okay. It's called salmon. Okay, so it's more oily then, right? High-grade salmon. Yeah. So fatty salmon. All right, we're going for the only the best. Mmm. Oh. Heavily. That really is fabulous. Oh my goodness. I just swallowed it almost whole. I should have savored it. I broke my own rule. You're still chewing, yeah. Oh my goodness. It's Let's really take good. a break. We can we gotta take a break right there. Let's get some of the uh, gaudy hair, shall we? Okay. This is pickled ginger. You use it to cleanse the palate in between dishes, if you like. More coming. Okay, round two. Where are we gonna start? With the nacho fermented stinky beans, yes we are, yes we are. It has nothing to do with fish. But it's been a while since I've had this. Right? It's healthy. It's stinky beans, yeah, it's healthy. You can eat it? You definitely okay. want to show you on this, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna cleanse my palate first with some of the gaudi. That way I'll be tasting the pure taste of the stinky beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't wanna mix that with any fish taste. Mm -hmm. Ready? You get the big one. Those all. All right, here goes. So, you got to chew a lot to break the beans down. But it's not bad compared to the smell, I think. Meaning that what? If it's served with, with rice, it's not as bad? No, the smell is bad. Mm. It doesn't taste so bad. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Mm. Look, I, I would agree with that. It's the texture that's hard to get past because it's just when you start breaking the beans down, they get all gooey and you, you still re can't really swallow them. You really have to chew them a lot and then that stinkiness comes out. Yeah. It's a bizarre experience. It took me a long time to be able to eat those. But doing it sushi, you're not, you don't have that many beans on top, right? Right. It's not a very big supply of beans, so that's kind of nice. Okay. Next up, how about this mountain right here? What is this, like a Mount Fuji of onions <laughs> and avocado? 
Ooh, there's avocado on this one. And it's shrimp. shrimp. Cooked shrimp, I think. Yeah. So, do we split one of these? Let's just split one of these. Okay. Because it, it is two pieces. I mean, there's no way that's one bite. Okay. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Okay, there. I think I've divided it somewhat <laughs> unequal. Well, you said you weren't interested in this one because of the onions. Is that right? Uh, the avocado. Because of the avocado. Okay. Go. Lovely flavors going on there. Flavors and textures. Like a shrimp salad. Yeah. And that mayonnaise is so good. And the avocado? No? I don't like it. It gives it a creaminess though. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, let's do these. This is plate. These are seafood. One of them is the, is the uh, corn again. But these are mixed seafood rolls. So, and I believe one of them is a tuna. There's tuna there. Oh, the tuna. Okay. Tuna's a safe one if you're just getting started with sushi. Mmm. Mm. Pretty good. I like it because it's a salad, it's mixed. And it's got the mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I think it's a squid in this one. It's good though. Definitely tasty. Okay, do you remember what this one is? It's the katsu. The katsu, okay, so bonito. Here's a close up of the bonito. Mm hmm. Okay. And this one comes with. Ginger? Ginger. Ginger on top. Go for it. Mm. Mm. You, you know why they put the ginger, right? Because the katsu or bonito, it's kind of, it's a fishy one. Yeah. Right? And that's why. It's, it's a bit of a lingering, Aftertaste. It's nice, but it's good though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, moving along. Squid, are you a squid fan? Yeah. Okay. Two pieces here. And an order coming in. My gosh, somebody's hungry this evening. What? French fries at a sushi joint? What's up with that? What's up with that, yo? Give me the squid, the raw squid. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. It's the chewiest dish ever. It's a chewy one. Yeah. But I've, that used to bother me, but now I've come to like that texture. I like it too. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Sometimes in the past I've, I've called it an eraser texture, but that's not really, that's not really a good definition. <laughs> it's not like an eraser. It's more like, what is that? that this, Okay, it's like an eraser. That's yeah. as close as I can as close as I can come. If anybody's got a better definition of the texture of squid, raw squid, let us know. Yeah. yeah. Very chewy. Let's get these while they're hot, eh? Okay. Deep fries with chopsticks. I mean, I should get some mayonnaise for these, huh? They're good fries. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Better than McDonald's. 
really oily, greasy, yeah, and a nice crunch to the outside. You hear that crunch? You can almost hear the crunch. Yeah, and good flavor to the potato itself, I think. Yeah? It's good. The uh, ngawa? Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Good job. Ngawa. I forget what this is in English. But flounder? Yeah, it's flounder, the flatfish. <laughs> and it comes with the mint leaf. I see some mint leaf. And by volume, this is the smallest one. It's really super thin, because it's kind of got the texture of the squid a little bit. Did really you notice how the, the, the piece is really small, the piece of fish is tiny. It's better than I thought. Better than you thought? Yeah. Maybe you're acquiring a taste for it. Yeah, actually, I didn't used to like it either, but now I do. Yeah, it's got a nice flavor. This is uh, Saba. Saba. Oh, Saba. Oh. Is this got the vinegar flavor? Raw saba, maybe it's just mackerel, right? Yeah. Not one of my favorites. This is probably the fishiest one in the whole joint. Yeah. Did you order that? I did. Saba is great when it's cooked. Uncooked? It's been a while since I've had it. <laughs> Not as bad as I had expected. When you put it, the shell you wanted, it kind of gets rid of the vinegar taste a little bit. Not as fishy as I thought. It's good. It's a good fresh it's fish. It's fishy. So there, therefore, go for ginger. Any, okay. Anytime you get a foul taste in your mouth, get the ginger. The pickled ginger. And then it's gone. Right? Yeah. That's a good rule of thumb. Because um, the more different types of sushi that you try, different types of fish, you will get ones that you don't like. And that's kind of part of the experience, is to get try the different flavors and textures. When you're only eating such a small amount anyway, it's not going to kill you. Oh, speaking of killing you. The raw hot ham? <laughs> raw ham. Thinly sliced ham, so like cheese. cured cured ham. Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella top. cheese, this is interesting. Okay. So this is gonna be naturally salty, you don't need me to show you on this. Interesting, and is mozzarella cheese on top of cured ham, okay. Oh, what's the rice for? <laughs> it's good though. How about a baguette or something with a little bit of piece of toast? <laughs> On top of rice, really? It's a little bit weird. It does not taste like I'm in Japan. It's bizarre. Italian. Yeah. It feels like, wow. It's, I mean, wow. It's good. I don't know if it goes with the rice or not, but it's okay. Something different. This is my favorite, the Chawanmushi. Chawanmushi, okay, it's time for a, what is this, a soup? No, it's not a soup, it's more like a- Pudding. Egg pudding, that's what it looks like. It is not sweet, this is like a savory pudding. It just tastes like a salty mess. It tastes good. It tastes salty. Is there anything in it? Like down at the bottom? Yeah. Some meat. Here we go. Oh, bamboo shoot. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Mm-hmm. This chicken?
I love it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no comment. <laughs> puddings should be sweet, like dessert. Savory puddings? Uh, not my cup of tea. Uh, green tea is the cup of tea. Okay, dessert time. This guy right here. Oh, yeah, it looks so good. Oh, I just ordered two. Maybe just one. Three. <laughs> Four. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's a look at the damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, and fifteen, and fifteen, thirty-one. Thirty-one plates, Mega. Plus dessert. Dessert time. Yeah. So we got two desserts. This is a what? Chocolate cookie parfait. Yeah. And these are baked sweet potatoes covered in honey. Yeah, buddy. Sounds good. Okay. You're doing that one, right? We can do a little of both. Okay. This is a popular dessert in Japan, these sweet potatoes. It's got honey glaze, it turns it into a dessert. Doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Excellent. And they're naturally sweet already anyway, but oh my god. If you close your eyes and just put this in your mouth, you'd think it was pie or something. Yeah. You wouldn't guess sweet potato. Well, I don't think you would. No. It's good. It's cookie-like or something. So it looks like you got chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, crumbled cookies. And a stir rod. I don't know how that works. Oh, there's cream in the bottom too. Frozen solid, huh? Oh, that is so rich. Well, it's rich, is right. it? What, like chocolatey rich? Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, it's like fudge ice cream. It is good. Is it vanilla? It's chocolatey. Why would vanilla be chocolatey? <laughs> it's creamy. It's pretty good. It's good. It's good dessert. Grab some of the cookies. Yeah, the cookies like man. <laughs> Should have, should have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on there? I feel like I'm gonna have cookies in my teeth for the next couple days. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. It's just the way they do it. Yeah, so. Nice mess you just made there, Mago. Mm hmm. I'm gonna finish my meal with some green tea. Hot green tea. Complimentary hot green tea. So 31 dishes plus two desserts. I think we did pretty good. The value I think is pretty good. We don't have the total for everything, but I'll try to tally stuff up and put it down in the uh, video description for you guys if you wanna check it out. But sushi is good value in Japan, especially the conveyor belt sushi places, right? Yeah. And sushi, I believe is the biggest chain Right? Or one of the biggest chains. So, we yeah, like this place. We yeah. like this place for sure. There's a couple of them that aren't far from where we live, so that's convenient. So where are you gonna go today on uh, the ranking scale? One to six of your mega heads. What do you think? I'm gonna go six. Six out of six, ladies and gentlemen. Why is it a six? Because it's sushi. Because it's sushi. If, if you come to Japan, you have to try sushi. <laughs> it's sushi. <laughs> I remember there was a time not all that long ago when you didn't like sushi. You didn't really care for it. You're developing a taste for it now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it happens. It took me a long time to be able to just enjoy fish in general. Because when I grew up, we didn't really eat fish that often. But yeah. Six. I got to go six as well, too.
and the reason why is because I like the variety here. I like that you can go off of just the standard sushi, the standard raw fish ones, and you can you can get meat ones. There's something for everybody here, yeah. right? There's the front, you know, put, you can get French fries here. You know, I mean, it's definitely it's a family joint. There's ramen too. There's ramen, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's it's right. Yeah, that's the beauty of it, and it's good quality fish and at good value. So, all that being said, it's definitely a six out of six. We're doing a giveaway, three of our Get Some Snack Packs. If you're not familiar, there'll be a link on the screen. The only thing that you guys need to do is put a comment on the video, and we will choose three winners and announce them in the very next Eric Mealtime. Yeah, so that's going to do it for this one. Eric and Mega, out. Wait, Eric and Mega, out. Wait, last one. <laughs> Eric and Mega. Out. <laughs>